Um, yeah, I would say the enjoyable part of the off season was kind of like November when you don't have to kind of get back into the swing of things. But uh, now it's kind of at the point where, you know, you're going going full full steam ahead until spring training. So um, nice to be able to come to a place like this and get a lot of it done. But important to get that contract done early so it wasn't something that is still being talked about now. I mean, I think I think you ask anybody who's going through the free agency process, they'd much rather be done sooner rather than later. Steve, you know, having pitched so deep into the year, end of October, yeah. how'd your body feel when you started up again? Did you move anything back, change your routine? I mean, I guess, how, how did that shake out for you? Um, I mean, I think it kind of like reverted back to what I've done in the past, and I think it's, um, I think it's feeling good. Uh, it's feel, feel strong. Um, some stuff like tweaked as far as like the lifting and everything, um, kind of tapering off of that to start, um, allowing the body to recover. But um, I think a lot of the adjustments that will need to be addressed is going to be through spring training and managing the workload, building up. So, um, but you know, my goal is to you know be ready to do what's asked of me, much like I did last year. So I'm preparing for that. Strauss, you walked around here for a little bit, interacting with some of the fans. What is there? What has been their interaction with you? coming back here and reaffirming you're here for the long haul. Yeah, I mean, I think even before that, uh, it's it's amazing how coming, not being from D.C. originally, um, you don't really understand the impact that it had on this community, and uh, that's pretty cool. You know, there's a, a lot of people who have just approached me, uh, random places, and just wanted to shake my hand and say thank you, and, uh, you know, I mean, hey, it's, it's a team effort, and... Um, you know, it's it's a great accomplishment to win a World Series, but I think especially doing it in a city like this, it's uh, extra special. How do you yeah. feel different after last year? How does it feel different coming into this year based on what the, the team went through and you went through? Um, it's great. I've always liked the kind of playing the underdog, and I think that's something that naturally fits with this club. And I mean, even just finally watched like the documentary. Um, of the World Series a couple of days ago, and it was pretty clear to me, at least, that they expected Houston to win. So, um, <laughs> I think that just further fuels the fuels the flame, and I mean, ready to bring it all the way back next year. How nice is it to have Harris and Hudson in the bullpen? Yeah, I mean, I can only speak for Huddy. I mean, I've heard a lot of good things about Will, and uh, I'm excited to meet him. Um, but having Huddy back there is just great, you know, great guy in the clubhouse. Uh, he really blended well and, um, you know, bringing his veteran leadership down there in the bullpen with Dew um, is huge. And uh, obviously from afar, you know, Harris has a great track record and uh, excited to, you know, see what he can do for us and uh, maybe he can teach me his cutter. So. <laughs> How important will it be to get Ryan Zimmerman back? I know that's on the to-do list. How important? For somebody like you that's been around so long to get him back. I mean, Zim's all I know, really. I mean, I, from the moment I signed here out of college, he put the jersey on my back. And um, I think he's instrumental to this organization. And I think, you know, if it were me, I think as long as he wants to keep playing, he should be playing in a Nationals uniform. So. Do you get a chance to see Gerardo Parra's tattoo in Wilton? I, I did. My wife, <laughs> my wife texted me that this morning, and that was. Uh, that was pretty bold. I would never do that. <laughs> so, hey, more power to him. So, did you ever do something like that? No, no. I'm, my mom's always said she'd disown me if I ever got a tattoo, so I'm too too afraid of her. Are you sad yeah. to see one of the two uh, guys who hug you all the time leave? You know, give you those comforting hugs at the end of innings and starts? Yeah, I don't. I, I mean, he was he was great to be in the clubhouse, and um, you know, I'm just happy for him and his family to be in an opportunity like that. Um, but I mean, just for right now, like Sanchez gave me two like extremely long, borderline uncomfortable hugs already. <laughs> so I think he's trying to make up for that, which is fine. <laughs> yeah. Steven, did you look back at some of the games you've been watching on TV or thinking about all the comebacks you made and what a long shot, historically long shot it was? Um, I mean, it, again, it was just kind of a blur and. You know, I think long shots. I mean, it's it's easy when a year ago, like we're picked to win the World Series, and we've been a pretty good team for a long time. And um, I think we got ourselves in a hole early on, but I think that was more so because we weren't healthy. 
and once we got everybody back and we maybe added a couple pieces, I think that's, you know, really when we started to show our best version. I and I oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's playoff baseball. We we've been on the other end of it a few times, and this time we were on the right side. So it's, it's we expect it to be that way every single time, and uh, I think once you learn to roll with it a little bit more and, and enjoy it and um, not really think that it's going to be the end of the world if, if it doesn't happen. Um, it's really just about you know sustaining that success year in year out and giving yourself as many opportunities as possible. There's always going to be some amount of turnover from year to year. The clubhouse is going to change. Player rosters will change. But what was your reaction to seeing how much of the group is coming back as much as Rizzo was able to keep parts? Well, I, I, I think it's it's a reflection of what we built here, and um, you know, it takes everybody, not only players that come into here, but um, you know, staff, training staff, um, clubhouse staff, um, front office staff. I think when you're when you put players in a position to succeed and just focus on being the best versions of themselves, I think that's an environment that any ball player wants to be a part of, and. Um, Clearly, all the guys that you know decided they wanted to keep playing here uh, enjoyed the time last year and uh, want to keep keep being a part of it. So myself included. Everyone's talking about chemistry as uh, such a critical part of the success. But what's your take on the clubhouse dynamic? How do you how do you see it? Um, I think I think it's extremely important. I think it, you've seen in the past where you know there's been so-called super teams on paper and they just don't seem to get it done and. And there's been other teams where nobody nobody expected them to do anything, but they just had that kind of belief in each other, and um, you can accomplish amazing things just by pulling for each other and just playing as hard as you can and leaving it all out there on the field. That's a that's a great thing about baseball is that uh, you know any any team can beat any other team on any given day. Stephen, you said both seasons you were watching the video. Did you see some things that you? Had yeah, quite a bit actually. Um, I, th I mean, it wasn't so much like our side, but it was more so like seeing it. it I mean, clearly, like the documentary thought Houston was going to win. So, seeing it from that angle, it, it made it that much better. Just seeing how heartbroken it was they were. Because <laughs> I mean, we've been there before too, so it's it's good to return the favor. Do the revamp bullpen moves make you feel like there's less pressure start to start to go deep into innings? You know that one and zero every day mantra maybe can be spread out for multiple players. Um, yeah, I think everybody's got a job to do, and and my job as a starting pitcher is to go out there and keep it close and give the team a chance to win the game and you know really pound the strike zone, attack, and try and go as deep as you can. Um, I, I've always, I've always trusted the guy next up, and um, I'm going to continue to do that.